I just bought this Tyneco iFloor 3. This is not sponsored, I bought it with my own money. I may have been convinced by a video that I saw. I'm really excited to see how it does because I am not a mopper and I don't like vacuuming. So to combine them into one chore, I am very excited. Let's try it out together and see how it works and how easy it is. Handy instructions right on the top, a bunch of accessories at the top, a bottle of cleaner, the handle. I'm super happy they use cardboard instead of styrofoam. This is a no mess unboxing here, love it. The base and the main attraction. We are fully unboxed. I'm gonna go ahead and charge it so we can test it out. The charger goes into the base plate and then you park your Tyneco right on the base plate and then it shows right on the top that it's charging. Full charge time is four to five hours. Super easy to empty out. It comes with one HEPA filter inside that you wash out after each use. Really easy. And it comes with one extra, which is nice in case you need to use it before the previous one is dry. It says you can do it with just water. If you're deep cleaning, you could do a cap full of that cleaning solution. So I just a little bit of the cleaning solution and then filled it up with tap water here. It puts out a really minimal amount of water. Just barely, barely damp once you go over it. Really awesome. If you see a spot that's really gross, you can go over it a few times, but it's doing really great. It's pretty quiet, like quieter than my vacuum. Almost feels like it's self-propelled, like it moves really easily. It's going great. I don't know if I was gonna like this thing, but it's amazing. The vacuum suction power is getting every crumb, every hair, and if I see something that doesn't get picked up the first time because it's like ground into the tile or whatever, I just go over it two, three times, it's gone. Amazing. Here is immediately after on our tile, you can see it's damp, but not soaking wet. So now I'm gonna try it on our hardwood floors. I think it's gonna be fine. Here it is right after doing the hardwoods. They're drying super fast. As long as you have sealed floors, I think it's fine because it's just such a minimal amount of water it puts down. It's a great screen here. Oh, I never took the plastic off. <laughs> There it is with the protective coating off, but I like it on so I know what each of the spots is. So here's self-cleaning. When it's flashing, you put it on the base and then you push this button up here. It's gotta be plugged in and then it will self-clean. Ooh. And that's self-cleaning. Done. Here is the tank after doing my entire basement and first floor and two bathrooms. Ugh, we did tile and we did hardwood floor and that is disgusting. We've got some hair hanging down in there so I think I'm gonna take it outside to dump and then use this to try to clean the tank and the filter. Ew, look at that hair. Ugh. Look at this goop in here. You open it up. And oh my God, that is so gross, but it kind of catches the big gunk so you can dump it out and then pour the water down your drain. Here is what the filter caught. That'll be easy to clean though. Easy to get off and you can just rinse that clean. And then here, also super easy to get off and look at all this. There is all the hair. It's not wrapped around the brush, actually. It's just all up in here. Blech, blech, blech. All in all, from setup, putting in the cleaning solution, to cleaning the whole house, to cleaning out all the parts, it took about an hour. I'm not gonna do this every day, but a whole house cleaning, maybe once a month, and spot cleaning here and there. I am Team Tyneco, this thing is amazing. I did not clean this mop itself, I took it out because there was hair all up in here and all up in here, I washed all of that, but nothing got tangled. So easy, love it, love it, love it.